to Jamaica of Alan Irvin, I guess, because he's in a curious situation where he's still trying to figure out his future, I guess. Um, do you know what? I don't think he is trying to figure it out. I think he's just sort of taking it as it comes, and I think he's prepared to, to do whatever, depending on what happens, whether he's kept on, whether he's not. Alan's been a fantastic ambassador. Uh, in the time that he's been in charge of Norwich City. I think he carries his cell with a lot of dignity. Um, I think he calls a match how he sees it as well, uh, much as Alec Neil did, to be fair. And, yeah, after the game, I think he's just pleased with the performance. A lot's been made of the fact no shots on target uh, and still a 2-0 win. Uh, but, yeah, I think I think what really pleased Alan, what came across was the, the defensive solidity, the way we defended high balls in our box, because that's been the Achilles heel so many times this season, and Norwich were good at that tonight. Yeah, we got, we got the good Ryan Bennett tonight, didn't we? He looked properly switched on, and when he's mm. like that, you can you can see what kind of defender he can be. Yeah, do you know what? I thought he was fantastic. He, he gets a lot of stick when he yeah. does things wrong, and, you know, as he should, you're not just here to praise them. But today, you know, he won every header. He, you know, slid in and won the ball. So many times you thought that the ball gets past those relatively skinny legs here, is, <laughs> and, and someone through on goal Glenn Murray he looked awful tonight and you can only put that down to the defending of Norwich City Russell Martin as well his 300th game and you know I think he stood up to the challenge tonight he really did yeah we should talk about Russ I mean he's still not really getting the kind of reception pre-match that maybe he deserves it's an incredible achievement 300 games for the same club yeah well I was saying you know before the game whether you love him or hate him and footballers get a lot of stick when they're not loyal to a club and when they're looking for the next you know, pay packet here, yeah. there, and everywhere. He's not that kind of guy. He fronts up more than anyone, uh, and he doesn't have to. You know, he quite often he, he puts that armband on with pride. He has to stand up to the press. He doesn't always do it on the pitch, but but who does? Uh, and I think to have, to have played 300 games for one club, you know, not out if you like as well, yeah. is, is a great achievement. See, the other thing that I would say is um, when we look at the reverse fixture this season, how truthfully did Ross speak after that thumping at the Amex? I thought that was someone that really, really cared about this football club. And during the hard times this season, that has come across so much. Regardless of what the future holds for Russell Martin, he has been magnificent for Norwich City. Um, Chris Hewton, I think the Norwich fans gave him a bit of a boring, boring Hewton. And, and Chris Hewton actually turned around and did a, a yawning gesture back to the snake pit. <laughs> what a rem- I mean, that uh, remarkable, really, to, to see that from, from Chris, because he's normally so stoic. But, uh, I mean, he admitted Brighton just went at it to what their usual standards are and they, they probably didn't need to be really I guess no they didn't you know that they've they've won it they know they are and maybe the celebrations earlier this week took their toll I've heard some stories about a couple <laughs> of the, the players in the middle of the night you know, in the middle of the the, the, the the city as well so um, I think that was to be expected to some extent maybe it was going to end in a bit of a damp squid but but for him he said he was angry and disappointed at the end he never really looks like that he's never really <laughs> animated is he I can't imagine him angry but he said he was I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure he was a bit so where do Norwich go from here then? We've got two games left. Ellen Road, of course, next weekend. And then we're back here on, on the following Sunday for the last game of the, of the season. I mean, there was a curious atmosphere here tonight, wasn't there? Because there, there's a frustration that it just has ended like this. And we're probably not going to get over that until next season. One of the things Alan actually pointed out is we were waiting so long this season to beat teams above us. And then we've beaten three in a very short space of time. And I think that's the frustration for every Norwich fan. Reading are probably going to be in the playoffs and we absolutely destroyed them here. Um, We've beaten the champions tonight, deservedly, and with a really, really resolute performance as well. And at home we've been fine this season, but Rotherham away, Burton away, Wigan, that's where the problems have come. You don't think Newcastle are going to do it then? Because no. they could still win the title? No, 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 no absolutely. What do, you, what do you reckon, Phil? Where, where do Norwich go from here? What a question well, that well, is. Well, Norwich can still be the party poopers, can't they? You know, Leeds have dropped like a stone, and I really thought they were going to be in the top six come, come the shake-up, and they're not. And, and Norwich could, could cause them further problems. And then QPR, well, it's just a, a day to enjoy, you'd hope. Yeah.